we set up a tent in the front yard. Today, I have absolutely nothing that I have to do. Zero. The only thing that I'm responsible for is making sure that the baby's okay. And that's it. Oh, speaking of which, he's starting to wake up. I've realized that I've finally gotten to that point in my life where I love the idea of camping more than I actually think that I would enjoy camping. I just sat out there for half an hour watching YouTube videos and now I'm perfectly happy to be back inside. It was a, a false alarm, he's still asleep. But I digress, I got off on a total tangent. Let me get back to the main storyline. When I have a lot of free time and time off, it's dangerous because I start to think and it occurred to me that yesterday I spent most of the day mowing all the grass around the house. And the day before that, I built two flower beds at a big heavy retaining wall blocks. It wasn't until now when I had the free time to reflect back on what I was doing, do I start asking questions like, is this something I enjoyed? Did I have a good time doing that? Is, is that what I'm supposed to be doing? 99.9% .9 of the time, having deep intellectual thoughts like that for me is a complete waste of time. It's like sitting on a, on a stationary bicycle where I work up a big sweat, I get in this big mental meltdown and then I just come away hot and sweaty and, and needing a nap. I mean, really, that's all it does. But this one time was different. Big boy. Let's get you out of there, big guy. Come here. Come here. Oh, yeah. It's good to see you. Hey, big boy. Want some more of the fruit pouch? Oh. The fruit smoothie pouches are still definitely a uh, team feed effort. Uh, you can have anything on here? What would you like? What would you like, kiddo? Good job. He loves the chance to get to pick for himself what he eats next. If I were to put that on his high chair in front of him, swept off the side. But if I offer him a plate with different choices and he chooses, down the hatch. Easy as pie. It only took me uh, three months of wondering why he didn't want to eat um, whatever I gave him in order to figure that trick out. Yeah. Anything else? That's what you think. Yeah? <gasps> Yum. Good choice. Good choice. Hey, you want another, want another smoothie pack? Look at your smoothie pack. I think every new parent and probably every established parent moonlights as a, uh, a waiter, a maitre d', and afterwards, a maid. That hits the spot right there, yeah. But what was different about today wasn't the fact I had to mow the lawn or put in some retaining wall blocks. Who cares? Life is full of things that you really don't want to do, but you have to do anyway. It's just the nature of things. But what I realized, what fascinated me was the idea or the question of how often do we sit back and simply go through our, through our days and do what we think we're supposed to do, but then only afterwards reflect whether or not that's what we enjoy doing. And where I'm going with this is, think about a job. I did this, I know I did this, and I wonder if anyone else has sat back, worked for years and years and years at the same job, but not taken the time to examine whether or not they enjoy it until they aren't working at that job. And only then do they realize, like kind of I did, maybe that isn't the most fun thing in the world to do. Maybe there's other options out here. Speaking of options, you want some more? Oh yeah. You know what they say, a full baby is a happy baby. Hey <laughs> kiddo, how are, the, how are the breadsticks treating you? Oh, oh yeah. Oh good boy, you're such a good boy. Whenever I'm taking life too seriously, I just have to take a look at him. <laughs> and it suddenly gets so much better. Uh, uh, Are you done? Yeah. Uh, we taught him to flap like that whenever he's done. It's a pretty good signal, actually. It works well. Now I just have to um, hose him off a little bit. 
Erica's mom just showed up to take care of the baby. So to stay ahead of the curve and try to get as much done as possible while I can, I'm gonna go to the grocery store and pick up a few things that we need. So where I'm going with all this is that I was always taught from my parents that what you do in life is you pick a career and you follow that until you retire and hopefully don't die along the way. The baby loves cheese. Buddy. Yeah. So what am I what am I trying to say here? Am I saying just stop working and take time to pontificate on your life? Well no. And yes. I think our parents' generation, as well as every other previous generation, hasn't had the opportunity that we do now. Back when they were working at careers, they would learn one skill set and there wouldn't be any other opportunities for them. Now in this modern age with the gig economy and so many jobs. We do have the opportunity to try something different, to try something other than just working until retirement. What I think might be a much better solution is to work for several years, then take a pause, take a break, reflect upon what you're doing and decide if you want to go back. And if you don't, try something else. Treat your life as a book with different chapters where you take a break every now and then and start a new chapter in your life instead of a marathon that you just start and you don't stop until you finish or die. So that's, that's in a nutshell what I'm getting at. And saying it might be time for a change where we pause during certain parts of our life just to look back and see if we're doing the right thing or if a change needs to be made. Speaking of changes, he's turning blue. So I'm gonna take him inside, <laughs> get him changed and ready for bed. How's that for a set way? He's got goosebumps. Oh, buddy, let's get you warming inside. Even though I know he's freezing and he's done, he's still gonna scream like the dick of as soon as I take him away from this water table. I, you're so cold, though. You're so cold. Oh, buddy. <laughs> I need to mention that the whole reason why I came up with this idea and what started this line of thought was about a year ago, I took a very unexpected break. <laughs> oh, big guy. <laughs> and I finally had a chance to think about things. And it was the best break ever. Mm -hmm.